It was with shock and utter dismay that we have been watching developments in Ukraine over the last 24 hours. There are no circumstances that can uh, justify such scenes of violence. We condemn, in the strongest terms, the use of violence as a way to solve a political and institutional crisis. We believe the political leadership of the country has the responsibility to ensure the protection of fundamental rights and freedoms. We call on all sides to put an end to violence immediately and to engage into a serious dialogue. We believe that is the only way to respond to democratic aspirations of the Ukrainian people. As you know, the European Union has been offering a sincere assistance to facilitate political dialogue between both all sides and also to de-escalate the situation. We continue to believe that we need in Ukraine constitutional reform, formation of new inclusive government, and also to create the conditions for democratic elections. These are the only ways to have a solution for the political crisis. We have also made it clear to Ukraine that we are ready to support Ukraine on its road for reforms, for democracy, for stability and for prosperity. And we have made also clear that our offer of political association and economic integration remains on the table. And of course, this does not constitute the final goal in our cooperation. But we have also made it clear that the European Union will respond to any deterioration on the ground. That's why we expect that targeted measures against those responsible for violence and use of excessive force can be agreed by our member states. And we hope that they consider this as a matter of urgency, as it was already proposed by the High Representative Vice President of the Commission, Cathy Ashton.